Nara Chandrababu Naidu born the 20th of April 1950 is an Indian politician who has been Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh since 2014. He is the first Chief Minister of the state since it was divided. Previously he served as Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh from 1994 to 2004, before the state was divided, and as the leader of the opposition in the United Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly from 2004 to 2014. He is currently the national president of Telugu Desam Party. Naidu has won a number of awards, including IT Indian of the Millennium from India Today, Business Person of the Year by the Economic Times, South Asian of the Year from Time Asia, and membership in the World Economic Forum's Dream Cabinet. Naidu chaired the national IT panel under the NDA government and was described as one of the hidden seven working wonders around the world by Profit Oracle Corporation's monthly magazine. Early life and education Naidu was born on 20 April 1950 at Naraveripal, Chittor district, Andhra Pradesh in an agricultural family. His father, N. Karjara Naidu, worked in agriculture and his mother Amanama was a housewife. Since his village had no school, Naidu attended primary school in Seshapuram until class 5 and the Chandragiri Government High School until class 9 by walking 11 km every day. He went to Tirupati for his higher education, studying there from class 10 until he received his master's degree. Naidu completed his BA degree in 1972. <laughs> Early political career Naidu was drawn to politics at an early age, and joined Youth Congress as a student leader in Chandragiri, near Tirupati in Chittor district. After emergency was imposed on the country in 1975, he became close supporter of Youth Congress President, Sanjay Gandhi and Nirala Saikiran G. Legislative career, 1978–1983 Naidu became a Congress I member of the Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly MLA for Chandragiri constituency in 1978. The party's 20% quota for youth to run for the office was beneficial for Naidu on that occasion. Not long afterwards, he was appointed as Technical Education and Cinematography Minister in T. Njaya's government at the age of 28. He was the youngest minister in the Congress I cabinet. As the cinematography minister, Naidu came in contact with N. T. Rama Rao, popularly known as NTR, a popular film star in Telugu cinema. In 1980, he married Bhuvaneswari, NTR's second daughter. Telugu <inaudible> <inaudible> Desam Party In 1982, NTR formed the Telugu Desam Party TDP and swept the assembly polls held in 1983. Naidu, who was then still in the INC, was defeated by a TDP candidate in Chandragiri. He joined the TDP soon after. <laughs> Rise in the party Naidu got the chance to show his political skills in August 1984, when Nadendla Baskara Rao staged a coup against NTR. He rallied the TDP MLAs together, and paraded them before the President of India. NTR was reinstated as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh 31 days later. Impressed with his son-in-law's maneuvers, NTR appointed Naidu as the General Secretary of the party and he began playing an important role in the TDP after Rao's coup attempt. Later when NTR married Lakshmi Parvathi, Naidu took over the TDP Legislative Party in a coup and became Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh. Legislative career, 1989–1994 In the 1989 Assembly election, Chandrababu Naidu contested from Kuppam and won by 5,000 votes. Inc. however had regained power in the election so Naidu had to sit in the opposition. He served as coordinator of the Telugu Desam Party, in which capacity he effectively handled the party's role of main opposition in the assembly which won him wide appreciation from both the party and the public. 
His role during this phase both inside the Legislative Assembly and outside was a critical factor for the subsequent success of the party at the hustings. As Chief Minister 1995 As Chief Minister, Naidu advocated short-term sacrifice to turn Andhra Pradesh into an Asian tiger over the next 20 years. He slashed food subsidies, among other things, and raised power tariffs. Both Bill Clinton, President of the United States at the time, and Tony Blair, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the time, visited Hyderabad and met with Naidu whilst he was Chief Minister. He was the longest-serving Chief Minister of the United Andhra Pradesh and first Chief Minister of residual Andhra Pradesh. Aparizim Ghosh of the American News Magazine Time commented. In just five years, he has turned an impoverished, rural backwater place into India's new information technology hub." And the magazine named him South Asian of the Year. Topic vision 2020 Naidu produced a vision statement, Vision 2020, with U.S. consultants McKinsey and Company which proposed, universal, low-cost education and healthcare rural employment replacement of small investors with large corporations by implementing Vision 2020. Naidu has privatized the health care and education of the state and has also indirectly did his best to drive out the small farmers from the farmlands so that the big corporations can do large-scale farming similar to Western countries. He literally said agriculture is not sustainable, profitable in current conditions and farmers have to find other options for living. This is one of the major reasons for losing elections in 2004. Topic: 1999 election victory. The Telugu Desam Party, led by Naidu, won a majority in the state legislature, 185 of 294 seats in the Assembly and 29 of 42 in the 1999 general election, making it the second largest party in the BJP-led NDA coalition government. Topic Hyderabad Development Naidu discussed his plan to develop the state of Andhra Pradesh by making the major cities showpieces for foreign investment especially in key sectors such as information technology, biotechnology, healthcare and various outsourcing services. He coined the slogan, Bye Bye Bangalore, Hello Hyderabad, to further this aim. Microsoft Corporation has established a software development center in Hyderabad, the second such center outside Seattle. Naidu encouraged other global IT companies IBM, Dell, Deloitte, Computer Associates and Oracle to move to Hyderabad, making presentations to global CEOs convincing them to invest in Hyderabad. In his tenure by end of the financial year 2003-04 software exports from Hyderabad reached $1 billion, and it becomes a fourth largest exporting city in the country. By 2013-14 exports had grown by more than 10 times, employing about 320,000 people directly working in this IT and ITES fields in Hyderabad alone. <laughs> 2003 assassination attempt On 1 October 2003 Naidu survived a land mine blast, escaping with a fractured left collarbone and hairline fractures of two right ribs. The blast occurred about 1600 IST when Naidu was travelling in a convoy to the Lord Venkateswara Temple in the Tiryamala Hills for the annual Brahmatsavam festival. State Information Minister B. Gopalakrishna Reddy, Telugu Desam legislator and C.H. Krishnamurti and driver Srinivasa Raju were also injured. Telugu Desam legislator Bojala Gopala Krishan Reddy was seriously injured. Topic: 2004 election defeat. The Telugu Desam Party, led by Naidu, failed to retain power after two successive wins, winning 47 of 294 seats in the state assembly and 5 of 42 in the Lok Sabha. While many of his ministers lost, Naidu won decisively in Kuppam. 2009 election defeat 
The Telugu Desam Party led by Naidu formed Maha Kutami with support of KCR who pitched for a separate state of Telangana but he could not get into power as he won only 92 of 294 seats in the state assembly and 6 of 42 in the Lok Sabha. <laughs> <laughs> The Telugu Desam Party led by Naidu alliance with Bharatiya Janata Party returned to power, in the state of Andhra Pradesh winning 102 seats out of 175 seats. Naidu led TDP to an outright majority in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Chandrababu Naidu took oath as the first chief minister of the residuary state of Andhra Pradesh at Mangalgiri in the grounds of Acharya Nagarjuna University near Gunter. Heritage foods The Heritage Group was founded in 1992 by Chandra Babu Naidu. In the year 1994, HFL went to public issue to raise resources, which was oversubscribed 54 times and its shares are listed under B1 category on BSE stock code, 519,552 and NSE stock code, Currently the organization is being led by Nara Brahmani, his daughter-in-law. <inaudible> Sunrise State After the division of Telangana from Andhra Pradesh, the state was forced to have a new capital and distribute it development unlike Hyderabad with Amaravathi decided as a new capital. Visakhapatnam is declared as a IT hub with having its ITSEZ, Special Economic Zone. As part of the developments he has started a program called AP Cloud Initiative and also launched Digital Summit. <laughs> Foundation of Amaravati The foundation for the city was laid at Udandarayunipalam on the 22nd of October 2015. The Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh N. Chandrababu Naidu, the Chief Minister of Telangana Kalvakuntla Chandrashikar Rao, the Japanese Minister for Economy, Trade and Industry Yosuke Takagi and the Singaporean Minister for Trade and Industry S. Iswaran laid the foundation for the city. Literary works India's Global Leader by Tihaswini Pagadala Manasulo Mata, an autobiography of Chandrababu Naidu Achievements At 28, the state's youngest assembly member and minister, Longest serving Chief Minister for the Combined State of Andhra Pradesh 1995-2004 First Chief Minister of the newly formed State of Andhra Pradesh from 8 June 2014. Longest serving Leader of Opposition in the Andhra Pradesh Assembly Voted IT Indian of the Millennium in a poll by India Today and 2020 Media He was named, South Asian of the Year, by The Time Magazine, USA. He was described as one of the hidden seven working wonders around the world, by Profit, a monthly magazine published by Oracle Corporation, U.S. Business Person of the Year by Economic Times. He calls himself as CEO of Andhra Pradesh. Global Association of Universal Peace GAUP, announced its 2019 International Prize to Nara Chandrababu Naidu. The Pune-based organization, Bharatiya Chatra Sansad, in partnership with MIT School of Governance, has honored him with Adarsh Mukhyamantri Paraskar Model CM Award in its sixth annual session on 30 January 2016. Transformative Chief Minister Award in May 2017.